Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to use a binomial expansion of 1 plus x raised to the power n and 1 minus x raised to the power n to find the sum of n c1 plus 2 times nc2 plus 3 times nc3 and so on plus n times ncn for the first sum and the second sum is nc1 minus 2 times nc2 plus 3 times nc3 and so on until the last term uh, minus 1 power n plus 1 times n times ncn okay let's try to sort out the solution in this case i want to look at the expansion of 1 plus x power n first so we know that 1 plus x raised to the power n is 1 plus nc1 times x plus nc2 x square nc3 x cube until the last term will be ncn xn which is ncn until the last term we shall get is ncn x power n so the left hand side and the right hand side are actually a polynomial in x and we know polynomial can be diff is differentiable so let's try to differentiate both sides Differentiate both sides with respect to x and see what happens. Differentiate both sides with respect to x. Now this will give us 1 plus x with the power n minus 1 multiplied by n equal to n1 differentiate the first term is 0, differentiate the second term is n times 1 times 1 nc1 times 1, so differentiate the second term is 2 times n 2x differentiate the fourth term and get 3 times n c3 x squared until we get the last term n times n c n x power n minus 1 and now in order to, to prove that to find the sum, we, not, we need to just put x equal to 1 will do because they will give you the right hand side. So put x equal to 1. I will get n times 1 plus 1 is 2. n minus 1 equal to n1 plus 2 n2 plus 3 n3 and so on until the last time with n n so this gives us in this case n times 2 power n minus 1 is equal to nc1 plus 2 times nc2 plus 3 times nc3 until the last term n times ncn this is how we get the first sum Okay, the first sum, find this. I managed to find that this is after using the binomial expansion of 1 by x to the power n and differentiate both sides with respect to x and put x equal to 1. I managed to get the answer is n times 2 power n minus 1. Now let's look at that next term. Find n, find this one. This time I'm going to use another binomial expansion now. I use 1 minus x to the power n is equal to 1 because the sum is, is actually nc1 minus x plus nc2 minus x squared plus nc3 minus x cubed until the last term, okay, which is ncn minus x raised to the power n now this is also equal to 1 minus nc1x plus nc2x squared minus nc3x cubed and 
so on until the last term is minus 1 power n and cn is power n. And this is 1 minus x plus power n. Again, I differentiate both sides with respect to x. Differentiate both sides with respect to x. I'll get n times 1 minus x power n minus 1 and differentiate 1 minus x to get minus 1. And differentiate the right hand side, first term you get 0, second one you get minus n for 1. Then third term I get 2 different x squared got 2x and 2 then the next term we get minus 3 and c3 x squared until the last term I should get minus 1 I should get n times minus 1 okay minus 1 power n times n times ncn over times uh, x power n minus 1. So let me erase a little bit here. It's a bit cramped. So I get this thing minus 1 power n and cn x power n minus 1 and multiply by n. And then we look at what we're going to do now. And we're going to put x equal to 1. Alright, so you put x equal to 1, then the right hand side will become 0. So put x equal to 1, let's see what happens. So that I got all the term. The right hand side will be 0 now. The right hand side will be minus n1 plus 2 n2. Minus 3 and 3 and so on until n minus 1 power n and n. And then we arrange them. I'll get n1 minus 2 and 2 plus 3 and 3 minus 4 and 4 until n minus 1 power n plus 1 and n is equal to 0 by rearranging it. Okay, so we have find the sum of n1 minus 2 n2 plus 3 n3 minus 4 n4 and so on and this is equal to 0. This is the end of this recording.